Hey everybody, Hooker TV X, Common Sense. I'm gonna say some shit I haven't said ever. Ever. Subscribe, like, and comment, and share. I rebooted this channel to try and save the youth. It may be in a harsh way, but it's necessary. You can't put a kid in the corner no more. They'll turn around and blow your fucking head off with a Draco. You get what I'm saying? All that soft shit. Oh, okay, you don't gonna be on punishment. Punishment? This nigga just killed two people. You tell my goddamn punishment? He punishing you. And I do this for the situation that happened with my son to where he's doing 30 years in prison at the age of 16. No driver's license, no shot on his 21st birthday, uh, no rental, he ain't rented nothing, he ain't nothing. So everything that we do and it's easy to us, his kids is never gonna see that. All that nice shit is over. Support it. We got to save these kids, man. It don't matter if we only save one. At least we did something. We could go up there with our little one save, and guys are going to kick us right on through. And we're going to go hang out with everybody. Toast up and shit. It's not going to hurt. Let's get it going. Let's get it goddamn going. Every kid and youth deserves a shot at life. Thank y'all for your time. Hey everybody, Boogie TVX, Common Sense. This is a sad one, man. But bear with me, I might, there might be some jokes in there, some laughing, man. Like I, I laugh over stupid shit like that. Kodak Black. Somebody need to help this brother, man. Instead of watching him crash and burn, man. Somebody need to help this dude, man. Every time somebody got a talent, they always got something messed up attached to it. He looking bad, man. Oh, that, that shows you that. All the money you make don't mean shit if your spirit ain't happy, man. Of course you can walk in and buy anything you got that want. But that shit depreciates as soon as you fucking open it up. But you can always say, I got it. Whatever that feels for you, whatever, you know. How would that make you feel? This nigga on drugs super hard, man. Super hard. Shout out Nino Brown too, man. Cause he is the like he is like the DMX. Fighting a demon. It's sad watching how people play out like that, man. That's the thing about being in the industry and being on TV all the time, man. People can see your decline and your actions. You got to be like pitch perfect every time. Because you don't want to get caught looking crazy. Sad man, young brother got talent too. Out there looking bad, man. Ah, oh, damn. He looked way different from when he was um doing that interview with uh, Ebro when he walked out. And you put those pictures up and put it up to, to his pictures now, it, t it tells you what happened. That's the story. That's the story. It tells you what fucking happened. Look at his fucking face. You'll see it. You can see it in his actions. You can see it in his damn actions. 
he crying out for help. But you know other people, they just like to look at it. Oh, damn, yeah, he didn't fuck him. He fell off. Fuck that. Like, come on, man. Come on, man. That's what's wrong with us now. That's exactly what's wrong with us now. We don't look out for each other. At all. For some reason. For some damn reason, we don't. I just don't get that, man. At all. Let a town like that go to waste. Where's his family? Where everybody at? What are the people that really care about him? I'm not talking about the people that is only around him to get some get something from him. Where, where's the people at that, that really care about him, man? Or is it any? That's just sad, man. That's just sad. And the way it's playing out, it looks just like how it's, it's going to be a tragedy. And then once he's gone, hopefully he's not. But once he's gone, that's when everybody's going to be saying they shit. They trip, man, I wish you were still here, Yak. Man, Yak, man. You remember, man, shut that shit. When that shit happened to anybody, man, don't, don't come. Don't send no condolences to my shit. Don't goddamn come look at nothing. That fake shit is over, man. No. Oh man, if we just if we'd have got together one more time, man, shut up, shut up, man. Talking about high school times, and you got to have sixty eight, man. If we would if we would have stayed in contact, man, at the high school, man, uh, man, shut, just nigga, we could we are strangers at this point. We are strangers, nigga. We, we nigga, <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know you in your grown life. I don't know you. Call, hey, I want to give good calling the family, man. I heard about it, man. I want to give give me, give y'all condolence, man. Hang that goddamn phone up. Hang it up. Don't do that. They trying to clear they self, make they self feel good. No. And you know that's what's gonna happen. If that happened to Kodak, man. Imagine. Even the ones that talked about him. Oh, man, you know, we could have squashed our shit, man. It wasn't even that big, man. You know? That's some shit that could have been talked out. Rest in peace. No. No, man, no. Save that shit. You can save that shit, man. And give it to somebody who gives a damn. And this is the time, Yak. You're gonna see who's really for you and who's not. This is the fork in the road, my man. Cause you're gonna start seeing some shit you thought you would never see. You better pay attention. You take your ass a celebrity rehab or some shit and get your shit together. Addictions ain't no joke, man. Shit hard as hell. Especially when you're around fake people. Or you're around people that can always get what you want. Even though you don't need it. You know? That's what it is. That's exactly what it is, man. Like anything you say, they agree with. Yep, yep. Yep. How many pills you how many how many, how many pills you want to get yet? Okay. I thought he was falling out and shit, and, and, and I almost about to die. Yeah, but he wants some pills, man. Got to keep the boss happy. Man, please. Man, every time he asks me, oh, man, he all out. Yeah, they got busted, man. That shit over. Yeah, man, I don't know what you're going to do. You want to take, unless you could take uh, Tylenols to help. If you can't take no goddamn Tylenols, then. Shit, we done with it. Are you scared to lose that, um... Revenue, huh? That's why y'all ain't shit. That's why y'all ain't shit, man. Y'all do not to protect the bag properly. You know when you agree with somebody and the person that you agreeing with 
know that what they saying is bullshit. They know what they saying is bullshit. They know it's BS. And then you agree, and then you agreeing with it and egging it on to yeah. When they come clean, you done. You done. Like, this nigga tried to get me. And he wasn't even gonna help a nigga. You done. Like, come on, man. Everybody has a goddamn agenda. Everybody. Sad. What y'all think, man? Y'all think Kodak needs some help? Well, we all know he needs some goddamn help. But do you think the people that he's surrounding himself with is looking out for his best interest? I know my answer. What's yours? Common sense.